Hello ladies and gents and welcome to Do You Know Battlefield Hardline. I presume you didn't know about these lovely donuts over here, otherwise they'd all be gone by now. They're at the cop spawn point on the high tension map. If you spot them, your character will let you know what they think about them. Delicious donuts spotted! They sure do look pretty tasty. Have you ever wanted to murder someone with a zipline? Well yes, of course. Well, now you can. Aim your zipline at an enemy player that's below you and pull that trigger. If you time it right, the zipline will pass right through the abdomen and net you a kill. That is pretty gruesome. Also, if you see an enemy using a zipline and you're not happy about that, just shoot the base here whilst they're using it and the zipline will disappear, dropping enemy players using it into A, an epic face plant, B, their inevitable doom, or C, a parachute ride right back to the ground. You can also do this with grappling hooks, you can be a right little cheeky monkey in this game. Just shoot the top of the grapple and voila, try again Bear grills. It also works on friendly zip lines too, just don't let anyone know that I told you about that. Everyone knows by now that there's a massive crane in the middle of the level that falls down. But did you know that there's actually two ways of activating this Levolution event? The first way is pretty simple, just explode the crane when she's on the ground, that one's kind of obvious. But the other way is much cooler and something that your friends probably haven't heard of yet. You can actually jump in a helicopter and cut the cables midway with your rotor blades. Amazing, that's the right way to do it. Try it out for yourself, if you practice enough you'll be taking names and bringing down cranes in world record times. Do you know that you can now take health and ammo from the Operator and Enforcer class? If you're low on health and there's no medic bags around, simply run up to an Operator and press E to take health from them. This will slowly regenerate your health back to 100. And if you need some ammo, well, no longer do you have to jump up and down 200 times in front of a support player screaming at them to drop an ammo crate. Just run up to them, press E, take the ammo and reload. Get back to the fight, you dirty criminal. Why has this never been in a Battlefield game before? It's genius. Do you know that you can no longer directly shoot out helicopter pilots and passengers? In previous Battlefield games, this was possible. Now it isn't. It's kind of upsetting, but it looks like they've installed some next level bulletproof glass in there or something. However, you can damage helicopters and certain other vehicles with small arms fire. If you shoot a vehicle and see this hit marker, you're doing damage to it. Never forget that, a full squad unloading into a helicopter will take it down surprisingly quickly. When it comes to transport vehicles like the coupe, the sedan and the police cruiser, you can actually kill people through the glass. Also, these cars don't take much punishment before they blow up. They're wussies. In fact, an entire magazine from the AKM assault rifle will do the trick. It's incredible what you can achieve with a few seconds of 7.62. Boom. The revive pen in Battlefield Hardline is a killing machine. Trust me on this one. All you gotta do is stick an enemy once with this bad boy and they'll fall over begging for mercy. It's almost too easy to kill people with this thing. Remember though, you can also use it for its intended purpose to revive fallen teammates. And the longer you hold the button down, the more points you'll get and the more health the teammate you revive will come back with. Sharing is caring. Do you want to be a cool guy too and make some wicked sick graffiti on the wall like this for some street cred? Well, now you can. Just run up to a surface and press the C key. You'll spray your battle log emblem onto the wall. Works on right shields too. That's pretty neat. You've also encouraged your friend here to do it too, you naughty boy. 10 internet points to the first group of players that can create a full size mural of Gabe Newell's face. Make it happen people. Don't let me down. I'm guessing you've all used the taser by now. It's incredibly satisfying to blast someone with this thing. If you click the button and hit the target, they'll go down, but they'll eventually get back up. Unless, of course, you put a bullet in their head or arrest them. However, if you hold the button down when you fire the taser, you can actually kill the enemy with the first shot. The circle goes round, their health goes down. That is electrifying. If you've got the riot shield equipped, you probably don't realise how often this thing saves your bacon. For starters, it's seemingly invincible and can't be destroyed. Bullets? You're fine. Grenades? Not a scratch mate, what grenade? C4? Are you having a giggle? C4 is nothing compared to the riot shield, absolutely no damage. Crouching really helps to protect your body when you've got this equipped. The only areas you're exposed to from the front and can take damage at are your feet, your little tootsies, so you might want to double up on the winter socks. In addition to this, if you've got the right shield on your back, 
i.e. you're holding another weapon or gadget, it will completely protect your back too. It's amazing and it saved my life on many occasions. Also, when the right shield is on your back, the enemy can't initiate a takedown or knife kill from that direction. They've got to come at you from the side. You're like some sort of overpowered ninja turtle with that thing. You can even bash people in the face with it. Don't underestimate the right shield, it will destroy you if it has the chance. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just driving this motorcycle into an elevator because you know, why not? Maybe I just like jumping off roofs whilst I'm being chased by a helicopter, okay? Don't judge me man, it was fun, alright? You should give it a shot too. It doesn't blow up for some reason, gravity is not included. Apart from being the Prince of San Francisco in his spare time, this is in fact Steve Papoutsis, executive producer for Battlefield Hardline and VP of Visceral Games. Interesting. And that's a shark. Negative. Have you ever seen one of these little things on the ground and you wondered what the hell it was? Well, it's a decoy gadget that the professional class gets. Pop this thing down on the ground and it's going to create fake enemy markers on the minimap. They even move around too just like real life. This gadget can be used to confuse your enemy, especially inside buildings with multiple levels like the parking lots or in skyscrapers. Use it wisely and it can be quite an effective gadget. Just make sure that you hide it out of sight to avoid suspicion. Do you know about the interrogation mechanic in this game? If you initiate a non-lethal takedown using a police baton or a baseball bat, you're gonna handcuff the opponent. Look down at them and you'll be prompted to interrogate them. If you now hold down the use key and complete the interrogation, the enemy will spill the beans and reveal all of the nearby bad guys on the minimap for a few seconds. You better start running, your best mate just ratted you out. How does that feel? When collecting cash from the pile or the enemy vault on blood money, I've got a couple of little tips for you. The first one, you don't have to actually look at the money to collect it. You can just hold the use key and as long as you don't move too far away, you're going to keep picking it up. You can also shoot and pick money up at the same time useful for defending yourself. Also, the more teammates that are around you whilst picking up dollar, the faster it's going to be collected. It makes a huge difference. Try to get in and out together as a squad. It makes the whole process much faster. I'm sure you've all encountered a gas grenade by now. They are pretty nasty. They suppress you, blur your screen and slowly deal damage. If you want to permanently negate this effect, make sure you've got the gas mask gadget equipped. It's like Johnson's baby shampoo no more tears. Not many people take this gadget and as such a good tactic on blood money is to throw three gas grenades into the room with the money pile. You can stand in there for as long as you like grabbing cash in safety. Just make sure you watch out for campers on the roof. And whilst we're on the subject of gas, have you discovered the massive drivable gas truck under the road here? It makes a huge explosion and takes out anyone around it when it blows up. Strap some C4 on there and set up a dastardly trap. It can also be exploded with small arms fire. Unfortunately, you don't get the kill credit if you take someone out in the blast, but you did make a pretty explosion and killed a lot of enemies too, ultimately helping your team out. Have you tried out the survivalist self-revive gadget that the operator class gets? It's very interesting and there's a lot of debate out there on whether this should actually be in the game, but this is how it works. If you get killed by anything but a headshot, explosion or fall damage, once per life, you'll have the opportunity to self-revive. If you go down, just wait for your enemy to run past you and stick that needle in. You'll come back from the dead and you can act out some brutal and swift justice. I bet he never saw that one come in. Keep in mind, you can be shot again and permanently killed whilst you're down on the ground before you self-revive. And make sure to look out for other players that look like this too. Double tap the body, it will literally save your life in Battlefield Hardline. Whilst you're roaming around the level, make sure you watch out for trip mines. These are professional gadgets that are very hard to spot, extremely dangerous and they will blow you apart. A cheeky tactic is to put them at the top of elevators. Unsuspecting victims will probably just run straight out without looking when the doors open. Pretty easy kills there. You can crawl under them too if you need to avoid them without making a noise. And don't forget, shoot them, they will blow up, turn that frown upside down. Notice the red hit marker when shooting at enemy players and haven't worked out what it is yet? Well, it means that you've just scored a headshot. GG, the more red hit markers you get the better. Make them count. Have you seen these pretty neat mini levolution events that are triggered in the underground section of the high tension map? Look for this red scaffolding and broken up pillar. If you tie it right and blow it up with an RPG and there happens to be players running around above or even driving around in vehicles, you will destroy them. They'll be dropped down and they won't know what hit them. It's hard to time it, but it's possible to pull it off in a match and you get the kill credit. Make it rain. 
Do you know that whilst suppression is still in Battlefield Hardline, it's been significantly reduced from Battlefield 4? This makes a big difference to the gunplay. If you're suppressed, your screen will blur a little bit and your weapon's going to have slightly more sway and vertical recoil. It's not much though and you can shoot back at targets effectively while suppressed. Enforcer weapons like the MG36 have much more of a suppression effect but it's still manageable. Don't be afraid to shoot back when someone's shooting at you in this game. If you aim well and control your bursts, you can still make it happen. The final tip for today's episode will show you how to lean out of vehicles like cars and vans. Fans. Just hit Z and your player will hang out of the side like a badass. This is very useful when you're being chased by other vehicles, especially considering the amount of damage you can do to them now with small arms fire. You can use all of your weapons too. RPGs, grenades, you can even drop C4 out of the side and make an explosive pizza delivery. Everyone's a winner. With that said, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you learned something new. Leave me a rating and a comment, subscribe for more Do You Know Battlefield Hardline and I'll see you in the next one.